Hi, welcome to the Twitch dry needling video training series, where I'll show you a fantastic dry needling technique followed by a manual therapy technique to get great results for your patients every time. Okay, what do we do with someone with heel pain? Obviously the main culprits are Salinas, Gastrox, FDB, QP. Out of those, the one that I always like is medial Salinas. A really nice muscle to needle for this problem, medial heel pain, get great results. Follow that up with a nice manual therapy technique to the subtalar joint. Get you to lie on your side for me, facing away. Not much happening at this subtalar joint in terms of pronation and supination. Probably about five degrees pronation, supination 20 degrees. Of course, at the subtalar joint, you've got eversion and inversion occurring. So articulation of this joint is great for heel pain and a follow-up for the soleus dry needling. So what we're gonna do here is do a cross-handed technique over that subtalar joint, get some nice articulation here to get it out of compression. Obviously, this is the main problem. You get a lot of compression at this joint and it doesn't allow for much buffer because of those ranges of motion. So a great follow-up after you've needled soleus for heel pain. Hope that helps.